It's finally here. Big 12 play officially starts for your Texas Tech Red Raiders this week down in Austin against the top 25 Texas Longhorns team. But what should you expect from the Red Raiders in year number one of Grant McCaslin in the toughest league in America in the Big 12? We'll discuss expectations and outlook for the Red Raiders men's basketball program in today's video and some projections from key ranking sites here in today's video. Hey, how's it going, everybody? It's R.C. Maxfield here for the Back to 12 podcast. If you haven't already, be sure to like the video, hit that subscribe button and notification bell to stay in the know on Texas Tech men's basketball all year long. Not just what's going on on the hardwood either. We'll look at projections and rankings in terms of the important ones when it comes down to what Texas Tech needs to do to make it back to the NCAA tournament. But if you want to join the most engaging Texas Tech community here on YouTube, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And while you're at it, you might as well hit that notification bell as well. Before we get into the outlook and some of the projections and rankings for Texas Tech going into Big 12 play, I want to hear from y'all. How many wins will Texas Tech have this year in the Big 12 conference? Out of 18 games, right? They handle business at home. It'll be nine wins, but let me know down in the comments below. It'll be the pinned comment. How many Big 12 victories you think Texas Tech in the fight and Grant McCaslin's will have in year number one of his tenure? All right, let's talk about the outlook for the Red Raiders and kind of what they've done already, um, in a sense, going into Big 12 play, because that is important to know. The Red Raiders are currently on a six-game winning streak after their win on New Year's Day against the North Alabama Lions by a score of 85-67. to Pop Isaacs led them in scoring in that matchup with 21 points, and Warren Washington had arguably his best all-around game as a college basketball player. He had 10 points, six rebounds, five assists, and four blocks. That'll play. I don't care who you're playing, Okay. The big thing for Texas Tech is they're starting to heat up from deep. This was another game where, as a team, they shot at least 40% from three. And if you look at this, Texas Tech has done a really good job of ball movement, spacing, and really just capitalizing on a lot of good looks from behind the arc. Because as we know, that's really going to have to be one of their strengths moving forward. Right now, Texas Tech is currently averaging just under 16 assists per game as a team. The last time Texas Tech averaged more than 15 assists per game as a team was back in 2019 and 20 when Chris, Chris Clark, excuse me, led the way for the Red Raiders in that regard. Now, shooting, that's another aspect that has really started to heat up. As I mentioned, Texas Tech right now, as it stands going into Big 12 play, is shooting 35.7% from three. It obviously helps when you've got three guys shooting north of 40% from three on at least 40 plus attempts. Those are Darion Williams, Kerwin Walton, and then you got Chance McMillan. And oh, by the way, over his past four games, Pop Isaacs going into Big 12 play is shooting 42% from three. That'll play as well. So when you look at everything right now in terms of where Texas Tech currently stands going in to the Big 12, I said it a lot. I've already said it in this video a couple times. Shooting will be key, but I like their chances a lot more than I did coming into the year for the sheer fact of the way that Grant McCaslin and his staff have gotten creative with, you know, double screens, double stagger screens, whatever it may be in terms of getting shooters open, whether that's Chance McMillan off of a couple of screens, Kerwin Walton off the catch and shoot, Pop Isaacs off the pick and roll, whoever it may be. They have done a very good job of creating space and good opportunities for the strength of this roster, which is the shooting component of it. And so moving into Big 12 play, I really like that for Texas Tech. Now, let's be honest, you're going to have some bad nights, you're going to have some good nights shooting, but that key number for me in terms of if Texas Tech has a solid chance of winning a basketball game is if they shoot at least 35% from three, that's what they're doing right now currently as a team. All right, let's see here. I, I, I think you guys are going to want to like the video because I know this for a fact. You're excited to have Big 12 basketball back. I mean, this is the best conference in America. I know I'm excited to have it back. If you are as well, be sure to like the video right now. All right, let's kind of look at the outlook here for Texas Tech because I think it's interesting going into Big 12 play, kind of laying the land for Texas Tech men's basketball as they were picked to finish eighth in the preseason 
Big 12 men's basketball poll. The team that surprised the most people so far has been BYU. I mean, they were picked to finish second to last. They look like they could easily make the tournament, let alone uh, make some noise, right? But ESPN Bracketology has Texas Tech, as it stands right now, as a first four out team heading into Big 12 play. I think that's probably fair to be expected. Really, you haven't played really much of anybody um, outside of the Bahamas tournament and then Vanderbilt. But really, the teams that you played outside of Villanova, not really that all impressive. And Villanova can't beat a, a D1 team from the state of Pennsylvania. It's weird, I know, but it's the truth. All right, looking at it, though, Kim Palm right now going into Big 12 play has Texas Tech as the 37th best team in the country, ninth best team in the Big 12. Again, best conference in America. It's not close. Then you got Haslam Metrics. They have the Red Raiders at 39, 8th in the Big 12. And then you've got net rankings. They have Texas Tech just in the top 50, 49th overall in the 10th best team in the Big 12. Want to give a shout out to Ryan Mainville over at Gambling Gauchos for posting this on Twitter yesterday. Great follow at Ryan Mainville over on Twitter for all things Texas Tech hoops. Ken Palm currently projects Texas Tech to finish 9-9 nine and nine in conference. I'm telling you right now, if that projection happens, Texas Tech is in the NCAA tournament. I truly believe if Texas Tech wins seven games in the Big 12, they are in the tournament. The Big 12 has a quad one win, what feels like you have multiple opportunities every week, let alone just in conference play. So setting yourself up for success and handling business at home is going to be pivotal for Texas Tech because I mentioned it earlier in the video, you got nine home games. If you win seven at home and then just sprinkle in a road win or two, maybe at UCF, you're in the tournament. I think it's really that easy for Texas Tech this year in terms of when I say easy, looking at the schedule. Obviously not easy in the sense of winning the games on the floor because each and every night you are facing a potential tournament team outside of maybe three in the entire league. So you have the opportunity, if you're Texas Tech, going in here and really helping your odds of making the tournament with the net ranking. And that's something that the committee looks at, like it or not. It's one of the big metrics they look at. Right now, you're a top 50 team, 10th in the Big 12. Does the Big 12 get 10 teams in? I think it's possible with how good the conference is this year. But if you handle business and you end up 9-9 nine and nine in the biggest conference in terms of competition in the country, in the best conference, um, in terms of competition in the country, you're you're in the tournament. So that's an interesting prediction or, I guess, projection uh, by Ken Palm. And again, that's from Ryan Mainville over on Twitter for the Gambling Gauchos. But I want to hear from you guys before we head out of here one more time. We just talked about it. The projection over at Ken Palm, 9-9. Nine and nine. How many wins do you have, Texas Tech, winning in Big 12 conference play? Is it officially here? The Red Raiders will head down to Austin to play on Saturday night against a top 20 Texas Longhorns team in the hopes for the Red Raiders to get on track in the Big 12 on the right foot, I guess I should say, with a victory to start the Grant McCaslin era in Big 12 play. So let me know down in the comments below how many wins you have Texas Tech winning in the Big 12 this season. And one more time, if you haven't already, be sure to like the video. Hit that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell to stay in the know on Texas Tech men's basketball all year long. We'll have a preview out on the channel tomorrow for Texas Tech against a top 20 Texas Longhorns team. Should be a lot of fun discussing Texas Tech men's basketball moving forward. I'm RC Maxfield. We'll catch y'all next time, guys.